Hi there, Chris here with another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are gonna look at creating an overheated barrel. And so to serve as our example, we're gonna be using the uh, Punisher Lehman Rust kit here. The barrel has already been given a base coat of lead belcher and then a highlight of rune fang steel with uh, some um, nullum oil in the uh, shadows and such, in a typical sort of fashion. It was done with the airbrush, but you can do it by hand. To get it started, we're going to be using Edelon Purple from Forge World. This is a clear uh, color. We're going to be using the Badger Patriot 105 to apply this, spraying it, spraying it around 15 PSI. And as we apply this to the model, you can see here I'm just simply starting the airflow away from the model, and then I begin laying out the color towards the kit, and I'm spraying from the nozzle inwards and basically allowing more of the color to build up towards the ends of the barrel and getting a bit of a fade occurring uh, halfway along the, uh, the barrels uh, of the uh, gun itself. You can see there's a subtle transition between the, uh, in the middle of the, each of the little barrels. Next is Calth Blue from Forge World. This is another clear pigment. Uh, this is a really good color. I like this one. This is a uh, cyan, essentially. And again, we're going to spray this starting out from the no end of the nozzle. And we're only going to go about halfway up to the uh, purple, uh, allowing some of that color to mix and uh, blend together. And you can see, again, it's when applied by the airbrush, it goes by fairly quickly. But these colors do apply by brush as well. So you can achieve the same results with a brush. It just takes just a little bit longer. Not really, but, you know, a little bit. Next is Abaddon Black, and this is going to be sprayed. I'm spraying, like, just past the, uh, the end of the gun. Uh, just allowing some of that overspray just to catch on the edges at, at the end of the barrel and Again, this is just so that I can get just that little bit of black just at the end again This is representing the charring and the blackening of the end of the barrel Again, this is really all this coloration uh, is to represent You know the gun barrel overheating it's been you know spraying bullets and it, the gun barrel is becoming quite quite warm and again you see it on a lot of um, metals and such that have been overheated in such a fashion again here i'm just spraying just a little bit more black just to get a little bit further into the blue again to deepen it all up tie it all together and then next i'm gonna take some necron compound and this is a nice way i like to finish off this kind of effect for these uh for overheated barrels and again, it's the black represents like a charring or, you know, like um, when metal becomes really, really hot and it starts to glow, it becomes scaly and such. And so this is to represent like some of those little chunks are falling off and metal uh, is exposed again. Again, sometimes I use also a light gray as well. Here I'm also running it along the gun barrels themselves, catching some of those edges along the, uh, the muzzle brake at the end of the... Uh, at the end of the gun as well just to bring on some of those details and it also kind of pushes some of that discoloration back a bit further and also helps to blend it all and unify it all together in this uh, fashion as you can see again it really creates a nice subtle effect now it doesn't seem so cartoony having the colors just so bold sitting on the metal and in fact you can see a bit more of that metal starts to appear through and again it creates a nice transition in through the overall effect and of course when you're dry brushing you're maintaining a very very light hand and necron compound is a really great way to achieve that this uh, dry compound is a really strong pigment works really well in this fashion for dry brushing but there it is you can see there the overall effect is this heat overheated gun barrel and you can see once we put it back onto the tank you see how it just really makes that tank really come alive and seem like it's seen he just spat so many darn bullets we have even more painting tutorials in the Silver Mini Wargaming Vault. You can watch another one today about how I create this uh, glowing barrels. Just click the link in the video description below and watch it right now. You don't, If you don't have the Mini Wargaming Vault membership, you can click the link and sign up for a free 7-day trial. Make sure that you get the Silver membership so you can access the painting tutorials and you'll get instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in the vault. And so thank you for watching. Happy Wargaming.